Hello everybody, this is Dragonheart and welcome to more Skyrim. And um, we're continuing from last time where we were inside Bleak Barrows Falls or Bleak Falls Barrow. And a matter of fact I have to go back in because I missed something very important in Bleak Falls and that is actually the word wall. I missed out on the word wall. <laughs> it's probably the biggest failure you will will find. Ooh, nice music. It's pretty. It's pretty music. I like pretty music. Oh, how are you guys enjoying your week? My week has been a complete nightmare. The weather has been atrocious where I live and unfortunately that has meant that... Uh, actually, is this game frozen or something? What is going on with this game? It's weird because... Oh, hang on. There we are. <laughs> Thought it froze frozen on me. My week's been a nightmare basically and... Actually, can I get up here? Oh, I don't think I can get up here. Shit. I got in this chest empty. Purple little fountain. I got. I, I remember this from last time. I think I got to go back out. Yeah, but anyway, uh, my week my week's been a complete nightmare basically because the weather has been uh, bad where I live, and that's meant that uploading these videos has taken a bit longer than than I anticipated. But have no fear, because. And will do my best to to upload videos. I don't know why I'm doing a funny accent. It sounds a bit, I don't know, slightly Scandinavian, slightly dumb, retarded, I don't know. <laughs> it is my dragon hard accent. Oh my god, there's snow all of a sudden. Right, I think I can fast travel. So I wonder if I can go to the to the uh, thingy majiggy. Fast travel to be full, yes. I have to navigate the whole uh, cave again, though, to get what I'm what I'm after. Good beer. Yeah, I'd like I'd like to thank one of you guys. I can't remember your name, but you let me. Uh, you gave me a message on Twitter, basically saying that I missed out on the word wall, and that I should go back and claim it. And that's what I'm going to do in the first part of this episode. Reclaim this. Any enemies up here? Oh, they're all dead, aren't they? From last time. That's good. I'm going to try first person view for a bit as well, because I think one of you guys also commented on one of my videos saying that I should probably try first person a bit more, so I'm going to do that. At least for the time being. I'll probably go in and out of first person and third person. like to vary it a little bit. Our hero, our hero leads a warrior's heart. <laughs> beware, beware the dragonborn car. I've been listening to some Skyrim music, so that's why I'm singing a little bit. A little bit of singing. Hmm, what else can I sing for you guys? Um, let me think. I see fire, boom, boom, boom. Inside a mountain, I see fire, boom, boom, boom. Burning the breeze, I see fire. Okay, I'm gonna stop singing because I'm probably. <laughs> Irritate you guys. Um, it's taking a while to load up again. I might cut this out if it takes too long. Oh, there we go. I got all the dead bodies, carcasses. That reminds me, where's the, uh, what's the name? Tarlock. Because like, he died, but do they come back? Do they respawn your companions in this game? Or do they just go completely? I'm not quite sure. I wish it was a shortcut to go through this place. Alright, I'm just gonna I'm gonna go as quickly as I can. I don't want to stay here too long because we've already seen this split now we have in this campaign. Just trying to remember was it no it wasn't the down here I think. It's quite a straightforward um dungeon though, isn't it? Nothing too nothing too uh difficult. The the route to where the end the end of the dungeon is quite straightforward. At least in my opinion. Probably a lot more tougher dungeons than this in this game. This is just the first dungeon. So it's obviously going to be quite easy to navigate. I got this horrible feeling that there's going to be like something down you now, <laughs> as if I've like, reset the, the dungeon or something. I'm going to go th the third person down here because I remember I shit myself last time when a bunch of dogs come and attack me. Well, skeevers. That's what they call skeevers. Skeever. Uh, down here. Yeah, down here. The spider we killed. I'm assuming he's dead again. Let's uh, sprint again. I'll go into third person just for this little part and then we'll go back to first person. Uh, let's see, is he dead? 
Yeah, he's dead. He's definitely, definitely dead now. <laughs> I see fire inside a mountain. I've been watching The Hobbits lately, my DVD of The Hobbits, so that's why I'm singing the songs. Although that's from Desolation of Smaug. Smaug or Smaug? Is that my Tarlock? It's not my Tarlock. Well, it's my Tarlock. I wonder if he's like down here somewhere. It'd be quite funny if he was. Oh, gotta watch that. I remember that from last time. <laughs> Don't want to be stepping on that. Where'd he die by? It was, it was around by here, wasn't it? I think it was around here he died. I would chip myself if someone attacked me right now. Oh, I forgot to disable these. Shit. Stupid me, stupid me. Oh, run, 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 run. I survived. <laughs> that was the most unnatural sound ever. <laughs> is that is that the Tarlock? No, it's not. Shit, where is my Tarlock? Any of these Tarlock? No. Is that that's no? Yeah, there he is. This Tarlock. What's he got? He has arrows and steel sword. That's all he got. Can I, can I revive him? <laughs> well, that's not going to help, is it? Right. We found him. It looks like he is dead. We have to find a new companion. In that case. Right. Let's get it on. Let's get it on like Donkey Kong. Let's get it on like Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong likes it good and hard. He likes it. Don't know what I'm singing. Just making up raps as I go along. By the end of this let's play, we'll have a bunch of raps. We all like Mario, he's the gay brother. <laughs> I don't know the fuck I'm singing. Right, um, we will keep the annoying singing to a minimum in this let's play. Uh, can I get down here, I wonder? Uh, will I make the drop? I think I can make that. Yeah, yeah, we can. Shortcut. Oh, gap, you fool. Uh-oh, you're in trouble. Something's gonna wrong, gonna burst your bubble. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Got some heavy breathing. Very sexual. Very, very sexual. Oh, that doesn't sound nice. Is that something I've searched? Oh, I am searching here. Right, we found something different. St studded armor. Thank you. We shall take the studded armor. Here we go, we're at the end now. Finally, all my viewers are saying, finally, thank fuck for that, he has finally got there. But as you can tell, uh, I'm new. If you if you aren't brand new to my channel and you're watching this video, I am new to, to Skyrim, so I'm going to be kind of crap. Which is why I'm having to go back into this dungeon. <laughs> but thank you for letting me know, because at least that way then, when you view my videos, you, you can say, oh, you actually missed something, I can go back and and learn from my mistakes. So here we go. Uh, through here, through here, down here. God, I bet my uh, my character's gonna lose a lot of weight running through this dungeon. Oh, I fucking I f why do I keep running into these things? No! Oh, I heard. Any dead people? Some dead people attacked me in here last time. I no like the dead people. Wouldn't it be pretty cool if, like, I don't know, uh, Lord of the Rings or The Hobbit had a had a game like this? Because there are some good uh, Lord of the Rings, you've got Lord of the Rings online, but I've never really been that much of an MMO player. But I think this kind of setting, I know you can probably get mods on it, I know you can get mods mods for like Lord of the Rings weapons and stuff, but I'm act I actually mean a proper Lord of the Rings game. You know, f fully attributed just to that lore. Same with Game of Thrones. I mean, Game of Thrones got a good game coming out at the end of this year with Telltale Games. As you, as some of you might know, I, I like Telltale Games. I like The Walking Dead and that type of uh, gameplay from Telltale Games is something which attracts me. Ooh, shit, no. Bats. Okay. Uh, but apart from that, which is coming out later this year, there hasn't really been an awful lot of Game of Thrones uh, games itself, which I've liked. Here we go. This is, this is what I wanted. Way I got there. Woo! Word of power learned. Force. Unrelenting force. Completed. Find the secret people. Find the owner of the golden claw. Okay. Did I check all this crap before? Oh shit, I didn't even check the chest. I will take the steel sword. Look at the stuff I've missed out. I've missed out on crap. Loads of crap. What about the Draugor? Draugor Overlord? No, I took everything from him. 
I'm just going to double check this because I kind of f fucked up before. Ooh, what's that little pink thing? Weak frenzy poison, we'll take it. Can I fast travel when I'm in a dungeon? Probably can't. No, I can't, fuck. Looks like we're going to have to go through the, the exit at the end. Luckily we're nearly at the end. But yeah, going back to my point, I think that would be pretty cool for a for a game. If you had like a Skyrim engine which uh, Bethesda have created and actually have have it made for you, know, you can you can picture me now be playing as Aragorn um, you know hunting hunting orcs with Gimli and Legolas trying to uh, to capture not capture trying to free Merry and Pippin from from the orcs you know that that'd be pretty cool if you had like missions like that and quests and then you could like switch character and go go as um uh, Frodo and Sam, and you'd have to navigate like giant spiders and stuff as you try and make your way to Mount Doom. And you, you know, you can actually have it as like a role playing game as well, so you could have like brand new characters. Right, so we've done this, so I'm gonna look at this quest a second. Uh, how do I look at quest? <laughs> Fucking hell, I can't believe I'm doing this. Oh, it's on right here. I remember. I remember. Find the owner of the Golden Claw. Who's that then? Apparently one of the bands has taken the claw. I've done that, haven't I? Is that done? Or, or is it not? Cut Arvel. I'm guessing that's done. Bleak Falls Barrow. Re deliver. Oh, i got to go to the Yarl Balgruff, or whatever his fucking name is. Stormcloak Rebellion. I just have to double check all this. Before the storm. Talk to Yarl of Whiterun. Whiterun, that's where i got to go. Right, let's get this shit on the road. Adventuring like a boss. Right, Whiterun. Bleak Falls sank. Now clear this shit. Let's go out here. Where can I get it? No, let me get out. Why won't it let me get out? There we go, world map. <laughs> Bleak Falls cleared, white run. Fast travel, yes please. Yeah, so, that'd be cool. Well, let me know in the comments what you think. Do you think a game, the, the, the game engine which Skyrim uses, do you think if they put this much effort into a Lord of the Rings or a Hobbit or Middle Earth type of game, if they got the license for it, do you think that'd be pretty awesome? I do. Even a Game of Thrones one, because I love the Game of Thrones. I, I actually can't wait for season four to start back up. Uh, shouldn't be too long. At the moment, I'm watching The Walking Dead back on on TV every Monday night. Monday night, Fox TV, channel one one two nine, I think it is, or one two six. I can't remember. Whatever. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. But they they like my main interests. The Lord of the Rings, Middle Earth, Game of Thrones, Walking Dead. They like my three biggest uh, franchises that I watch. Different. Different things which I love. Wee! Fly in, zoom out, zoom in, zoom out. Back in, back out. God, this takes a while to load. I might actually have to cut some of this out. Otherwise, you'll see me talking and loading screens for ages. Right. Go back where we are. Back where we are. Let's kill it. No, I better not. I get my gear in trouble. But when does that ever stop me? It's a little kid boy. Little guy with a torch. If I remember correctly, it was up, up really high, because I think I made a comment saying that all the important people are at the top and all the crappy people are at the bottom, just like in real life. <laughs> this guy really pants a lot. It makes me a bit edgy. Makes me edgy. Is this the way to go? Uh, let me see. Your Vasker discovered. Don't think I want to go there. I'm looking for the... the oh, over there. The, that's where I'm looking. That's where I'm going. Time to speak properly. What the fuck am I on about? <laughs> anyway, back to the let's play. Let's uh, let's go up these steps. Cast it into the fire. <laughs> I just felt like one of those moments. I'm sorry, people. I'm sorry. Dragon's reach is reached. Ha ha. Let's just check the time. It is twenty past five on a Friday evening. At the time of recording this episode, oh, not another loading screen. Just turned around and saw loading screen. What are you doing to me? What are you doing to me? Far over the misty mountain cold, to dungeons deep and cavern. Where's this jarl guy to then? Yo, peeps. Yo, peeps, where's he? Where's your... I didn't notice this before. It's up here. 
What is up here? The staircase to heaven. Staircase to heaven. Is that the guy? Is this it? Yay, I found him. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. Who side you on? If it's the war you're referring to, I'm on the side of White Run. I'll do. No doubt, General Tullius and his friends in the Empire will tell you that I owe them my loyalty, and perhaps I do. You bore me. Fuck off. Ulfric Stormcloak will Ulfric. say that I owe my allegiance to the Nord uh, people. You bore me. I thought I had to go and see see him. Uh, or was or was it the the wizardy now, guy? You don't mind. I've got a city to keep. He's still talking to me, and I'm like way, way, way from him. You see, the terminology is clear.